going to do the other side of the Infiniti G3503 model lens. I don't know if you can see, but this there's something that's been put on this lens that's really caused it to have some interesting contamination on it. It's not just a cloudiness, but it's possibly other products that the uh, this gentleman has tried to use to get the uh, headlights back to like new condition. If you want to swing over this real quick, show them the new, show them the one we did a minute ago. I mean, that's that's what it'll come out to be in hopefully under five minutes. So. But this one has a little bit more contamination on it, so what we're going to try and do is maybe wipe this down and see how much we get off and then leave it on for a minute. I'd like to do my videos in real time so people don't think we're, you know, doing some kind of um, photo editing. So I'm going to put a big dab on here, and we're going to wipe this down and see what comes off initially. And then we may need to let this thing sit for a minute just to let the acrylic works polish start to break down whatever was used on this lens that made it so funky. <laughs> That's the only word I can use to describe it. It is, it is one of the weirder ones I've seen, especially considering that the other one was just plain cloudy. This, and again, I don't know if you can see it, but it has streaks in here of something that was put on here. You can see we pulled off a little bit of the dirt. I did forget to, uh, to, to wipe this down, but um, we're just gonna let this work its magic, hopefully, and really start pulling off some of the contaminants and if it doesn't do it initially what I'm going to do is let this thing sit for a minute with the acrylic works polish on it because that will start to break down eventually it does take some you know I could use a little small buffer if I needed to but I just don't think that's really necessary on this particular car and we may find out that it, it does if it was if it is needed it would be a very fine grit but I can already see this whatever it is starting to kind of peel away and you can see what I've pulled off of there. Some of that is dirt, but I'm going to pull off to a, a clean side, and you'll see this is totally clean. A little bit of the polish. And what we're going to pull off next is not going to be dirt. It's going to be the whatever's causing this thing to be so cloudy. This gentleman said he tried several different products. Was uh, almost ready to go out and buy or get a quote on some new lenses, and he won't be needing to do that. Yeah, this, I knew this was going to take a little bit longer than the other one just because of the condition of the lens, but I can still see we've got some major improvements, and you can see we're, we're pulling off. Whatever that is, is starting to come off. So what I'm going to do for now is put a good splosh on here, and we're going to give it about a minute to sit. And I apologize for the boring video, but again, I do like to film these in real time so people can see this is an actual demonstration of what acrylic works can do. We're not monkeying around with you know, editing or splicing things in. It's in real time, so we're going to let this sit for a minute and I'm going to really go at it and hopefully we'll start breaking down some of these streaks, which I hope you can see in the video. There's some right here, here, and here there's an area and then some down in here. It's kind of what I saw on the other lens, but much more pronounced on this on this particular headlamp than on the other side, so it's probably one of those uh, Quickie Shine products that make your lamps look good for a week or two. And the gentleman said he used a couple, and you saw the condition of these lamps when he pulled up. So obviously those really don't work. Acrylic Works is a product that will. So now I'm going to let that let that sit for a minute. And what you'll see is this stuff basically streaking as it comes off, and it is starting to break down a little bit more. On a warmer day, this might be a little bit easier. Maybe should have had the lamps turned on so that generate a little bit of heat, but heat opens up the pores of the surface, which is pretty basic physics. It makes it easier to uh, get at the actual layer of the, of the uh, material that you're cleaning. So we've got a lot right in here. Not quite as much in here. This is basically broken down, so it is starting to break down. But you can see my cloth is kind of yellow, and that's the oxidation and whatever material was used to clean this in the past. So I'm going to flip it over. And this is probably going to take several more applications. But once you've done this, it's not something you're going to have to do every couple of weeks. You might have to re redo this maybe once a year, possibly. But you won't have this kind of contamination build up on it. It might be just a general um, yellowing over a period of time. but we're actually going back to the, the original surface of this particular lamp. 
and it won't get like this or be this difficult in the future. And I can almost see where a fine grit. Yeah, I had a clean rag when I started and you can see what it's pulled off. You see I'm doing north, south, east, west. I'm not doing the swirly thing. This isn't a, this isn't a wax. It is a polish, a restorative pro, pro, polish. And there's just a really tough area right in this area here that is breaking down. It just takes it's taking some elbow grease again to get it that get it off. It's coming though. So again, this lens is going to take a little longer because of the condition it was in. But even if it takes 10 minutes. 10 minutes versus 400 or more dollars to replace this, in my mind, is well worth it. Yeah, it's starting to break down now. I'm going to put a little bit on there and let it sit again for just a minute. I'm going to apologize for, not that these videos are action packed by any means, but <laughs> kind of tough to sit there and watch uh, polish sit on a lens cover, but I want this to be in real time. So this area is really basically done. It's this area down here and in here that I can still see some contamination. So again, letting the polish sit on the lens for a minute helps the uh, polish break down the surface contaminants and get it back to a like new condition as we did with the other lens. It's about 65 out here today, so it's not a really warm day. If it was warmer, this might, come, this might break down a little bit faster. What's breaking down now is the action of the acrylic works polish and my my muscle, if you will. <laughs> and uh, again, a few minutes of your time versus a couple hundreds of your dollars, you make the choice. But it's definitely starting to break it down. In fact, it's it's almost off all of here. It's still. Still not great on the sides, which is where we had our issues with on the other lens, is on the edges. Which I'm not sure why that is, but whatever was on here before apparently um, was applied heavier on the, on the edges of this lens. And I can still see right in here. So we'll just keep uh, giving this a shot. And you can still see a real cloudiness right in this area here, but up here where we had some before, it's definitely gone. So, we just have to work, work at it. And I know there are people out there that have the spray on, spray off stuff that makes it nice and shiny very quickly, but this will last for a while. This is not a, a quickie fix. That's why it's not a quickie apply either. It's something that actually works and gets back to the root of the problem, which is what do you have on your lens? I saw a guy the other day, I did a demo, and he put something on a lens that looked nice and clear, but he didn't address the basic problem that what is, what's happening with this stuff underneath whatever you're putting on it? It's going to fade again, no matter what you put on it. If you don't get that off, you're just repeating the issue in the future. I don't know how long, how long have we been running? Can you, do you see a time on that video? Yeah, about eight minutes about and eight? Okay. 47, okay. 48. Yeah, it's a little bit longer than I'd like to do. Again, possibly should have got a fine grip sandpaper and sanded this particular lens, but I wanted to see what we could do with just our human strength, if you will. Yeah, in a few minutes of that has been us sitting there watching watching the acrylic works and we probably could have let it sit there for a few more minutes. I mean it is definitely a huge improvement over where it was. This lamp also seems to be bolted into your car a little bit easier. The other one's a little bit loose, I yeah. noticed. <laughs> I just had to bump a replace. Oh, uh, okay. And I, I guess to... that side wasn't tightened as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, guess what? It was finally coming off. At least most of it is anyway. I 
I don't think anybody's going to argue with the fact that this is a bit better than it was before, mm -hmm. by far. It may not be quite as shiny as I'd like it to be. Again, whatever was put on there, there's still a little bit on it, but I think we're close enough where we can say, okay, that's good for now if we really want to get back into it. Uh, again, wait for a warmer day and just do this again. But we'll see what it looks like in just a minute when we get done with this particular pass. Your fiance is going to think you bought new lenses, huh? She's yeah. Yell at you for spending that kind of money. Because <laughs> these lenses, as I know, are not very cheap. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Let's give it one more pass with this. Still have just a little bit right there, which we could work on, but I think people get the point. The fact is that it, it got off about 90% of the contaminants. And if we gave it another 10 or 15 minutes, we could probably get it all off. But I'm going to take my wet rag, as doing all these, put a water sheen on this. That sets the acrylic polish. And then take a buffing rag and buff it out. And except for a little area right there, I think you're back to new. What do you think? I would have to agree with you. <laughs> I haven't seen it like that in a while. No. Good deal. All right.